here. I hope you're having an amazing day. Now guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about something you may not be that familiar with. And it's about what is the correct pH for watering your cacti and succulent plants. Now a lot of you may not have given it a lot of thought. You just, you know, turn on the tap, pour the water into your plants and uh, away, well, hey, that's it. But um, I've, I've obviously been growing cacti and succulents for many, many years, over 30 years now, 33 years in fact. And um, when I lived in England in a place called Birmingham, I always watered my plants with just straightforward tap water. The um, pH of the tap water in Birmingham is about 7.0 uh, pH, which is neutral. And I never had any problems with my plants at all. And they grew perfectly healthy. And bear in mind, I've been growing plants, cacti, since I was 12 on my, uh, my little windowsill at home. And uh, never any problems. Anyway, when I moved to Ireland 10 years ago, I moved down to the, um, the west of Ireland, the west coast, uh, in a lovely town called Sligo. And I started to actually water my plants as normal. The water came from the mountain. And I noticed that literally in a few months that they, the colour of the plants went very yellow. They looked really sickly. They were, in a, they were in a sunny window and I couldn't see what was doing wrong. I thought maybe it's the stress of all the house smooth and everything. But I noticed them when I started to repot. A lot of them were losing the roots and I was a bit mortified because I was using exactly the same soil mix. I wasn't overwatering or anything like that. So I knew it could only be down to one thing, the, obviously the water. Now, I did a little bit of information on it and checked, and I read about the pH of water. And it's something I never gave it a thought about. So I went out and got one of these little pH test strips here, and I checked the pH of my water. Bearing in mind, I'd read up then that the, the pH, the correct pH for watering cacti succulents is ideally anything between sort of 5.5 to 6.5. Again, mine in England was 7.0, so it's a little bit above than what it should be, but I had no problems because it was still on a neutral scale. And when I tested it, guys, it was like 8.5 pH. It was really, really, really really alkaline which is what was causing it obviously over time with watering with high alkaline water it was causing the soil to become very very high alkaline and it was causing the rot to um, decay and rot away and luckily I managed to save the majority of the plants um, by obviously putting them into completely fresh soil again and switching to rain water and the reason why I'm doing this video is because you may live in an area where you've got your tap water is perfectly safe. It's perfectly um, anything really, as, as long as it's no higher than 7.0, you should be okay. If it goes over the 7.5 or the 8, then I would definitely probably recommend, if you can, to get clean rainwater. And I have noticed a massive, massive different guys since I've been using rainwater. Since uh, the past few years, my plants grow so much more vigorously that when I go to repot them, the roots are always fantastic. And... Um, the, the growth is far better. That's just my opinion. I'm lucky enough where I live in Ireland. I now live in the southeast, a beautiful spot in Ireland. It's very clean here. The air quality, obviously everywhere you're going to have planes, so it's going to be impossible to have all the air quality. And let's not get into chemtrails and all that stuff, guys. <laughs> but um, the, the air in Ireland where we live is pretty good. It's lovely and clean compared to many parts of the world. And I'm lucky enough to be able to get fresh water. I have a, a lovely big pink water barrel that I have outside my, um, the outside the hose part, hoser that comes down from the roof, clean water, and I collect all the water in there, and then I store it in a big bucket, and that's how I water my plants, and of course with rainwater, because it doesn't contain any additional minerals or anything like that, it's ideal for using with the carnivorous plants as well, and also I had a bit of a cactus fertilizer and a bit of tomato feed in there for flowering to um, help with a bit of food for the cacti succulents, especially during the spring and summer. Now I've made an entirely separate video on how to water your cacti and succulent plants. So guys, I'm not gonna go into detail in this video. Links up above to that video, please do check that out. That goes into much detail about how to water your cacti and succulents. So that's purely a separate video. Check that out up above, guys. This is purely about the pH. As I said, the ideal pH is between 5.5 to 6.5. So what do you do if you test your tap water 
and it's very, very high, and you, you live somewhere where you can't get rainwater, you live in a, a flat or an apartment, or you also, your, your rainwater isn't clean, you live in a very busy city and it's polluted, then obviously that would be more detrimental to your plants than using perhaps water that's a bit too hard. Well, the next best thing you can do, you can actually use white vinegar. And I've done this in the past, a couple of years ago, we had a bit of a heat wave in Ireland, <laughs> believe it or not, guys, and we actually ran out of rainwater. And I actually used the normal tap water, and I used a big lot of white vinegar, as long as it's pure white vinegar and not the normal vinegar you put on your chips. <laughs> and um, all, all I did was I used about three to four teaspoons of white vinegar to about five gallons, and then I tested the pH again, and I brought it down to about 6.0, which was ideal for me. And um, I did it that way. So you can also you can always do that if you have got hard water and you're not able to get to um, rainwater because of where you live or the water quality, the rainwater is not safe. But if you have got clean rainwater, um, then that's always the best thing, guys. So how do you test your how do you test your water? Well, these kits here, I'll just show you. This is actually one I got this off eBay. It's a pH uh, universal indicator paper um, and these are pretty cheap to buy on eBay really easy they're just like paper obviously blotting paper and it measures you dip them in which I'm going to show you now and it will tell you what is the correct pH and uh, what's the pH of your tap and pH of your rainwater and you can also use um, the ones that people use for fish keeping as well. Any pet shop will have pH water testing kits. I used to keep fish many years ago. I had five tanks on the go, so I'm quite up on all the pH of water and everything like that. So, But if you can get these, these strips here, they're far cheaper and very easy to do, far easier as well without having to use chemicals and things. So all you do is get um, one of these uh, packs, strip one of these off like so. And I'm going to choose two, and just going to show you the difference because you will not believe it, guys. Now, this is rainwater here, and all you need to do is dip it in for a few seconds like that. Take it out, give it a shake, leave that uh, like so there. Just put it there, just so um, you're going to see what the colour it comes out. You leave it for about two, two, few seconds, and then this one is the tap water here. Dip that in there again, a few seconds. Tip it out, and then uh, just take that so it doesn't stain. That's, leave that like so and then all you have to do is literally wait a few seconds and see the difference now keep that aside there and you see that's the tap water and that's the rain water and then um, I'll leave that um, about two minutes and then I'll uh, show you again so um, stay with me guys now guys I've left that two minutes and as you can see the difference in the two strips is amazing now this was the rain water this one here and um, as you can see, it's more like a very, very pale lime green. And this one here is the tap water. And that's more like um, a darker sort of um, darker green. And obviously what you do with these pH strips is you just literally test them against the indicator. Very easy to do. As in this case, this one is the rainwater. So go with that. It's a little bit darker than that one. A bit too lighter than that one. Six. So as you can see, it matches the six pretty much um, ideal. Probably a little bit lighter, I'd say, probably in between the five and the six there. So I'd say it's probably about 5.5, which is ideal for cacti, actually, the water. Brilliant. So that's um, a good indication that the rainwater is a good uh, pH there. And then the tap water, it is tap water here. I'll just match it up. See, that's the seven, which is the absolute maximum you really want them at. Ideally 6.5, but you could probably get away with seven. As you can see, it's a lot darker than the seven, um, but the eight... Probably more like with the 8 is the nearest one. As you can see, I've tested actually a little bit darker than the 8. It's more like the, um, it's not quite as dark as the 9, but it's darker than the 8. So it's probably just over probably 8.5 or the 8. As you can see, it's way too uh, high alkaline for watering cacti and succulents. And our water here actually comes from a well. Um, so it's a lovely clean water to drink and it's very, very nice and natural. But for the plants, it's a little bit too hard and it's also very high in lime, which isn't usually such a problem for cacti as the, the pH. So there you go, guys. I just wanted to show you um, how it's done. And what I've done, I've made a separate blog for my website, desertplantsofavalon.com and I've put the links to that blog down below at the bottom of the About page in this video. And please check it out, guys. I go into a bit more detail about the pH and how you can check for it and a little bit about it on there. 
And um, that's really all it is to it. So just wanted to make you aware of it. If your plants are looking a bit yellow or they're not growing as well as they should and you get them out of the pot and there's no signs of bugs or anything like that, always do check the pH of your water. As you say, these tests are very easy to get on eBay and cheap as chips. And it's definitely worth it because it could save you um, a lot of hassle wondering what's wrong with your plants. So I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of cactus power as always from Ireland and until the next video guys bye